The deep freeze that's arrived is looking to make Monday's Iowa caucuses the coldest on record. But there are other differences making Iowa's moment in the spotlight special this year. KETV Newswatch 7's Aaron Hagerty gets the facts. The Iowa caucuses are held every two years by both Republicans and Democrats, but only get a lot of attention when there's a contested primary battle like Republicans have this year. Preparing for the Iowa Republican caucuses in Potawatomi County, Marianne Hanusa says she hasn't had time to take down the Christmas tree. There are 40 precincts with a caucus just in Potawatomi County. She says there are things Iowans should know if they plan to go. It's best to make sure that you know um, where your caucus location is because these are party functions. Your caucus location may be in a different place than where you would normally vote. You can check that at iowagop.org. You can't show up late. You need to be there by and at 7. It's a very ordered process. It's kind of like a glorified business meeting. There will be Republican Party business other than the vote, and it can be a discussion with other voters, a place where you'll hear arguments from people you know. They're always just really interesting to watch because the dynamics of getting together with the people who live in your neighborhood who you see on the street, I think it's very healthy for democracy. While Democratic Iowa caucuses have famously held votes by standing in corners of a room, Republicans will use these secret ballots and only one round of voting. We have a privilege that 49 other states don't have to be able to cast those first ballots for, for President of the United States. You need to show up even earlier than 7 if you need to register to vote or change your party. You need to be a registered Republican to participate, but anyone can simply show up and observe. Reporting in the newsroom, Aaron Hagerty, KETV Newswatch 7.